Advanced computing technologies have enabled the United States to make dramatic economic and societal gains, but our reliance on computers also leaves us highly vulnerable to electronic threats, from mistakes to malicious crimes. Outwitting these threats demands swift gains in cybersecurity. It's safe to say that the Internet has been a little bit more successful than its designers originally thought it might. Even in the five years that Deter has been operational, the types of threats have really changed. Originally, it was people primarily doing it for fun and, and for attention. But now, the battle is completely different. Really, there's a level of cyber crime because there's real money behind it. Now you have whole organizations that are engaged in just trying to acquire as many machines as, as they can. The private sector is now more than ever keenly aware of their vulnerabilities and the need to secure their systems. The nation is very vulnerable to cyber attack. According to several recent studies, a new piece of malware is introduced into our internet system every 10 seconds. But we are now in a situation of having to think hard about how you'd like it to be for the next 30 years. A key piece of the solution? The Deter Cybersecurity Research Project. Deter is headquartered at the University of Southern California's Information Sciences Institute, a world leader in computing technology research. The Deter Testbed is a unique resource in that it's the largest publicly available cybersecurity testbed. Deter is a physical infrastructure and a set of methodologies and tools for being able to experiment with new security technology. It's a place where people can run actual malicious applications and malware and experiment on them and understand their behaviors and develop defenses against those malicious programs. It's a lab that people bring in new technology and are able to test it out and validate the real value of it. Between the two sites, here at ISI and at the University of California at Berkeley, we have in the neighborhood of 500 computers operating in this testbed. DETER is aimed at being a, an environment that will help the researchers innovate faster produce defensive solutions that we can then transition and commercialize and make available in the infrastructure. The people that we've brought to bear on this are some really top-notch talent in different aspects of the cybersecurity research problem. And by challenging them with this goal of not just building a testbed to do what we already know how to do, but really changing what we know how to do, that's where the power of DETER is coming in. We work with researchers throughout the country at many, many, over 150 different users are out there at hundreds of universities and organizations. We're learning how to help people collaborate more. We're learning how to bring people together that don't necessarily otherwise talk to each other. Dieter gives us a leg up to more efficiently evaluate any new technologies that we come out and build and make a case to a customer for why we think the technology works. DETER also provides an academic forum for educating our next generation of cybersecurity guardians. There are small universities, state universities, we have some partnerships with uh, San Jose State, right, where they don't have the staff or the physical resources to create a large testbed cluster like ours. I think it's a major step forward in terms of how security classes can be taught. And it's much more interesting and exciting because the students actually get to be doing things that impact reality right now. If you look at the number of students that have had access to the test bed and been able to learn about cybersecurity hands-on. DETER has evolved through the visionary support and interagency cooperation of the Department of Homeland Security and the National Science Foundation. The thing that has really started to separate DETER from these other test beds over the last two or three years is our emphasis on the research program. So prior to having something like Deter, what you found was many different researchers or small companies would put together a couple of machines, maybe 10 machines, or do some simulation and be able to say, here, my technology fixes this problem for you. Deter differs from those in the fact that it's adaptive and that it's really designed to not be a test bed to evaluate a particular problem that existed on the day it was conceived of, which would mean that by the time it was finished, it would be obsolete but rather it's a general purpose tool that's intended to 
constantly be uh, useful for the problems that we face at that moment in time. I testified before Congress in um, 2001, right after 9-11, about really the need for us to have greater levels of investment in cybersecurity research. If you put these more open networks that can create really powerful new economic structures in society, if you put them in the critical path, then you, you need to make sure that they're secure. One of the places that's out there is really to think about the combination of cyber and physical. I mean, you know, computers control everything nowadays, right? So if a terrorist is able to break into a computer in some insidious way where a computer might be controlling a physical asset. So this includes things like uh, transportation, rail systems. It includes the power grid, the water grid. Especially the more critical infrastructures, they are going to get more affected down the road. Beyond the threat of malicious actors, we have the problem of simply understanding how to build systems that are trustworthy and secure and robust against the vagaries of day-to-day -day life. We have to innovate faster. Uh, the bad guys are doing it, and uh, we need to do the same thing. You read in the paper about some new virus, and then you, you read that you know everybody's going to create a patch, and you have to download the patch. And that's the reactive solution. You're always one step behind the game. I spent a couple of years as a vice president in a large commercial corporation, and I used to go out and talk to, you know, large companies, Walmart, Citibank, State Farm, right? And every time the question was, well, what's my return on investment? How much money should I put into cybersecurity technologies? Cybersecurity is, is a very, very hard problem because you're looking for the negative. You're looking for the needle in the haystack. Computer security so much is the absence of something bad happening. I didn't get broken into, so I must be okay. Security is easy when everything's working right. So what we're really about here is bringing some scientific methods to the testing of new cyber technologies. I'm very pleased to see Deter emerge as a leader in the development of these test bag technologies for the whole research community. And I think that, that you know, by maintaining and strengthening that leadership role, we will increase Deter's ability to do cybersecurity research of real importance and will benefit the community at large. We tout it as national research infrastructure. We believe it's that important to, to solve the problems that we have to solve. And uh, that's why DHS Science and Technology is invested in Deter. We've been involved uh, from the start and uh, we'll continue to to push it forward as a, a key piece of our research infrastructure. What we're doing is we're creating the evidence chain, the path by which we can see how new technologies deployed in the nation's critical infrastructures are going to improve the nation. Thank you.